here on NBA Today as we say hello. Hello Dub Nation. After Moses Moody's contract extension was announced last night, the camera quickly turned to Jonathan Kuminga. Speaking directly to Dub Nation, today's show will discuss Jonathan Kuminga and his long-term future with the Warriors. According to ESPN's Shams Charania, negotiations between the Golden State Warriors and Jonathan Kuminga are still far from an extension agreement, with the deadline being today. Will a deal be reached in time? Let's take a closer look. According to Charania, both parties are far from reaching an agreement in the contract extension talks, which could mean this situation drags on into the season and even restricted free agency. Kuminga seems to be betting on himself, trying to prove that he deserves a contract close to the maximum allowed by the NBA for players at this stage of his career. The Warriors, in turn, are hoping that he can show next season that he can be the star the team needs. There have been previous reports from Jake Fisher that Kuminga is seeking an extension close to the five-year, $224 million maximum value allowed for rookie-scale contract extensions. For reference, other players in Kuminga's draft class have already received their extensions, which puts additional pressure on negotiations. However, Golden State is positioning itself to offer somewhere in the range of $145 to $150 million over five years with an annual salary of around $30 million. The New Orleans Pelicans Trey Murphy recently signed an extension worth $28 million per year, and many believe Kuminga, with his potential, could be worth a bit more than that in the long run. But to do that, he'll need to prove that he can be a central piece of the Warriors' offense, which he hasn't done consistently yet. Kuminga's extension would be a gamble on the future. While Stephen Curry remains the team's star offensive player, the team needs more offensive options. With Klay Thompson no longer the player he once was and Andrew Wiggins an uncertain alternative, Kuminga has the opportunity to become the number two scorer. He made a big leap last season, increasing his points average to 16 per game, but he's not quite at the level needed to be considered a max contract player. At 21, Kuminga has a lot of unfulfilled potential. He's refusing to accept Golden State's current offer because he believes he can reach a higher level and earn the contract he wants. He'll try to showcase that during the season by working on his weaknesses, as Steve Kerr mentioned. One of those weaknesses is his three-point shooting. He had a dip last season, dropping from 37% to 32%, and the team wants to see him improve on that aspect again. In addition to improving his long-range shooting, Kuminga also needs to work on his playmaking and defense. The team has been hesitant to put him at small forward, where he believes he would be most effective, given his shortcomings as a creator and individual defender. He also needs to improve his rebounding, especially if he is to play a lot of minutes at power forward, as Kerr has suggested. Kuminga has the athleticism to be an effective rebounder, but he has yet to show that initiative on a consistent basis. There are encouraging signs, however. During the preseason, Kuminga was one of the Warriors' best shooters, shooting an impressive 42.5% from three-point range despite playing less than 20 minutes per game. If he can maintain that level throughout the season, increasing his shooting volume to around 5 or 6 attempts per game and maintaining an efficiency of around 38 to 39 percent, that would be a huge improvement. Coach Steve Kerr is a big advocate for Kuminga. He recently expressed his desire to see both Kuminga and Moody sign contract extensions, stating that both are great to coach and are constantly improving. The Warriors, as an organization, are in a transitional phase where developing young talent is crucial to the team's future, and Kuminga is part of that plan. Kuminga's exact role this season remains to be seen, but he will have a chance to prove himself. If he can establish himself as the team's second leading scorer, or at least come close to it, the Warriors may reconsider the max extension. If not, the decision could extend into restricted free agency, where other teams could make offers, forcing the Warriors to decide whether to match the offer. Among the players Kuminga is comparing himself to in a contract negotiation are Scotty Barnes, Evan Mobley, and Franz Wagner, all of whom have already achieved significant accomplishments in their young careers. While Kuminga has yet to reach those milestones, he has shown flashes of potential that could come to fruition this season.
The Warriors roster situation is also shaping up, with some cuts being made as the season approaches. Blake Henson, Kevin Knox 2 and Jackson Rowe have all been released, suggesting the team is finalizing its roster for the new campaign. With a season full of expectations and Kuminga looking to prove himself, the young Warriors future will depend on how he performs in the coming weeks and months. What do you think Kuminga can achieve this season? Share your thoughts. We know the Warriors are still watching the trade market and looking to make a big time addition to the team and the NBA to capitalize on Steph Curry's final seasons, so the upcoming offseason is shaping up to be a critical time for the Golden State Warriors as they look to reshape the franchise's trajectory. Will they commit to one last championship run or will they opt for a financial restructuring? Mike Dunleavy Jr. and the front office face a daunting array of choices, leaving fans eager to learn what the team's next moves will be. The anticipation surrounding Golden State's future is intensifying. Before we wrap things up, if you are a true Warriors fan and are as excited as I am to see how these stories unfold, be sure to subscribe to the channel. After all, we're producing Warriors videos almost every day. In conclusion, the future looks uncertain for the Golden State Warriors. With the possibility of losing and adding players to the team and with the various trade options available, the Warriors are well positioned to continue to be a force to be reckoned with in the NBA. Stay tuned for more updates on the Warriors and remember to support by leaving your opinion in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications to know when I send new news. Thanks for following Gold Blooded News. Cheers and see you next time. We're Gold Blooded! Go Dubs!